we are making apis every other day i mean the mostly the backend developers who are writing apis in the nestjs express kuwa happy js i mean in the node js backend system but are we making sure that the the apis which you have deployed to productions are the production ready so to understand how, when your apis are production ready first of all you need to understand the performance metrics that when you are when the actual users are getting hit on the apis are the either the payment apis or either the some apis related to adding the items to the shopping cart what if when the millions of the users are going to access the apis and your apis can be deployed as a lambda or can be deployed on a some container kubernetes container or ecs container so how can you make sure that your apis are going to perform well so that is the criteria which we need to always understand before we deploy our application to production i mean for the first phase you deploy the app to the uh, app to the productions but then you should always think about scalability and availability of your application so using artillery you can do the performance testing your your apis and you can make sure that your api is production ready so it's nothing but uh, a simple yml file you need to write that okay what is your target what are the different phases and now let's try to understand these phases because performance testing is all about when you are running the performance test you should be able to increase the virtual number of users and artillery provides the way to increase the number of users per second so this is the warm up phase and what i'm doing is here it this can be your api where you are going to get hit okay so target is your api and these are the the different phases in which you can test i mean you can increase the number of phases warm up phase i will be running this phase for the 60 second arrival rate is 1 that means every second i will be adding so this is arrival rate is 1 second and ramp up to 5 so every second i will be adding the five users right here duration is 60 second 60 second it will run arrival rate is 5 and ramp up to 10 so ramp up means so arrival rate is every second the one user will get created and it will be ramp up to the five users per second similarly the arrival rate is 5 that means five users will get created every second and this will ramp up to 10 user per second okay this is the ramp up load and spike phase where you are going to spike up the traffic right duration is 30 second arrival rate is 10 10 means every second 10 users are getting added and ramp up to 30 user per second so these tests where you are creating a virtual user using artillery and hitting your apis and checking the performance metrics and these are the plugins which will get reflected in your metrics and here these are the urls i am going to hit okay you can specify your get put post because it supports the end to end http rest apis so here uh, these are the threshold response time p99 and response time p95 so we need to check okay how many is the 99% of request is satisfied uh, took this much millisecond 95% of the request took this much millisecond this is the threshold so this is similarly same talking in the documentation warm up ramp up and the peak phase these are the plugins and these are the scenarios which i have defined for my load testing it will be your own apis whatever you wanted to hit you will put this in the scenarios and how to run the the load test similarly simply artillery artillery you can just install using npx install or npm install minus global artillery artillery run and your spec yml file and then it will just give you this particular report you can just generate html report out of this json report So let's see this in the action. What I'm doing is I already have one Nest JS app running with the Express. Okay, so this is Express dot YML I have, and what I'm trying to do this is very tricky. If you are trying to add a local host, it won't work. So you need to be little careful when you are running a local test. So I'm I'm going to use my machine, which is good enough to run this test. TLS I'm not unauthorized because it's a simple local host URL. this is the the local host port 3010 and the restaurant and i'm going to hit this particular url this is actually search url which does the lot of so lots of database queries and give me the result okay these are the scenarios and every time when the new virtual user is getting created 
it will just log that message that so we will also know that how many virtual users we are creating and these are the three phases okay duration 30 ramp up 1 to 5 warm up phase duration 30 ramp up from 5 user per second to 10 user per second in 30 second so similarly 10 user per second to 30 user per second for 60 second this is a spike phase so we are going to run a simple test to understand the matrix we can also use the artillery cloud first we will try to check this matrix offline without using artillery cloud and then we will publish this report to the artillery cloud also so this is the simple command which you need to run okay i need a json report and i'm hitting express.yml so i'm using this simple controller restaurant controller and i'm hitting this search endpoint to understand the performance and it is doing this simple query okay i mean it can be any of your api you don't need to worry about what api i am testing because you can test your own express app typescript express typescript or nest js app here i'm just uh, running the search on to using this controller which is running on 3010 and i used to have the middleware so i have commented all these things i'm not passing authorization header i mock the these uh, rules and all and this is the restaurant controller now let's uh, start our ta uh, test artillery run so this is the test id this is you can see so many virtual users are getting created and these will ramp up based on the different phases so this will ramp up to 5 users per second this will ramp up to 10 users 30 users per second so our test got completed and now we can convert this json report into html so the command is simple artillery report express report dot json this will create a HTML report, express report JSON HTML, express report JSON HTML. We will just run it with the live server. So here is our outcome. So how many were frustrated? How many requests were satisfied? Uh, lots of requests were satisfied. Status code 200. For all of them, failure 0. So here you can see, frustrated at time 150 second. These are like 150 and this is the overall statics. So this is one of the analytics but when I want to compare like okay from my previous result to this result what I actually do I mean these are the total these all are got completed and here is the performance time also TCP responses you can see so average response time is explained here 120 110 140 now what I want to do to get a better overview of this analytics report I can just use artillery cloud that publishes your report and give you the better overview of how many requests and what is the, uh, the success index and all so here also it says this will be deprecated you can use artillery cloud that is the recommended way so you can just log into the artillery cloud and get an API key so I will run a simple test and to run the load test what all settings I mean how you are going to run the test so these are the api keys you will get an api key from here and you just do need to run this simple command okay your yml record with your api key that's it and artillery cloud will collect all the statics for you and you should be able to visualize them so i have created api test.yml file and we will test it against it so let's run our test and i have also exposed my api key so it will run all these phases so all the what it is doing it is just going to push the final result to the cloud so so here i can see the results are popping up api test.yml and the results will start publishing here it will start getting the data getting the matrix getting all the virtual users getting created so this is how you will read this report i mean uh, these were tolerated these were satisfied okay and the overall score is 51 because 67,000 is way too much. So maybe something happened. We can rerun this test and try to identify. Here you can see the tolerated requests are 67, satisfied ones are these, frustrated are these. I mean, ideally, this can be a better report. I will try to rerun this and will try to show you again. And this was our second run and I think these tests are still better than the previous one. I can see the appends and the, the, here you can see tolerated and satisfied. 
and you can also compare the the requests i think comparison view api test so this is the previous one and this is the new one i mean i don't like this 51 and 78 so you need to run more and more to get the benchmarking because it is still not satisfied in my first run the overall score was around 96 you might be surprised but that it was but now my runs i don't know something wrong with the system so we should always test with a stable and a good system i mean i'm already running on the mac m1 with the with 8 16 gb ram this is how you can test your apis okay how can they perform on production when the, there is a when there are millions of users are hitting the request okay so this is overall how you can do the load testing using uh, artillery and you can use the artillery cloud to visualize your statics